Stan Jibalisco here from the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America, with a little explanation, a little technical, rigorous explanation of exactly what is meant by the term component tolerance, component tolerance, particularly involving resistors and capacitors. You've probably heard this term. If you go into a Radio Shack store, for example, and buy a resistor, it's going to have a certain rated tolerance, meaning margin for error. Typically, the tolerance of a resistor that you buy off the shelf is plus or minus 10% of its rated value. That's what this little plus or minus uh, sign here means plus sign with a little dash underneath it means plus or minus, plus or minus 10%. So suppose uh, you go into your Radio Shack store and where they still have electronic components like resistors and capacitors. Heaven bless them. 100 ohms is what you're looking for and it turns out to be plus or minus 10% tolerance. What does that mean exactly? Plus or minus 10% of what? Well, it means plus or minus 10% of the rated value or the quoted value of 100 ohms. So, you can expect that this resistor, in practice, will actually have a value of 100 ohms plus or minus 10% of 100. So, 10% uh, of 100 equals 10. So we, we can expect that this resistor will have a value. You can do this in your head easily enough. The actual value should be between 90 ohms and 110 ohms. These little symbols right here mean less than or equal to. So 90 ohms is less than or equal to R, the actual value of the resistor as you might measure it with an ohmmeter, is less than or equal to 110. That is what they're telling you or promising you when they tell you that a resistor has a value of 100 ohms plus or minus 10%. Now, if you measure that with an accurate ohmmeter and come up with 86 ohms or 120 ohms or anything outside of this range, then you should not accept that component. It is a reject. It is, does not meet specifications. It fails to meet its specifications. Now, what we, what we need to remember here is that this percentage figure is a percentage of the rated or quoted value, that is what they're telling you its value is, not its actual value. Its actual value is what you determine by measurement and it must lie within that tolerance range. So let's do a little bit more sophisticated uh, problem here. Let's suppose that instead of a resistor, we have a capacitor. And this capacitor, according to the manufacturer, is 680 picofarads plus or minus 5%. That means that we can reasonably expect or we should expect that this capacitor will have a value of 680 plus or minus 5% of 680. Now, from my way of looking at it here, I can't really figure out what 5% of 680 is in my head. However, oops, we better clear that and start over. 680 times 0.05.
equals 34. 34 picofarads, either way of 680. So we should reasonably expect then that the capacitor will have a value of... Okay, let's just um, write this down so we don't forget it. Plus or minus 34 picofarads. All right. Start over here. 680 minus 34. 646 picofarads is the minimum that we should expect. 646 picofarads. All right. Now let's go back and 680 plus 34 equals 714 picofarads. So we should reasonably expect then that this capacitor will have a value between 646 and 700, 714 picofarads. Now, unfortunately, it's not so easy to measure capacitance the way that it is easy to measure resistance. So we have to pretty much take this at face value. 646 is less than C, which is the actual value of the capacitor, not the rated value, but the actual value, 714 picofarads. That's what 680 plus or minus 5% means. Now all this said, component tolerance figures generally apply only to resistors and capacitors. One component that you definitely would not want to accept a 5 or 10% tolerance with is a quartz crystal. Remember those, um, if you're a ham radio operator of some, some longevity, as I am, you may remember the day when you, uh, novice class licensees had to have their transmitters controlled by crystals in order to determine the frequency. In fact, I actually remember when I was first licensed in 1966 with the call sign WN0OKV my first crystal was at a frequency of what they called 7185 kilocycles does that date me or what 7.185 megahertz or 7185 kilohertz. Well, suppose that that crystal had had a tolerance of plus or minus 5%. Let's just use that as a figure. 7,185 times 0 0.05 equals 359 and a fraction kilohertz either side of this 7185. Now that would have been completely unacceptable. Either one of the, these extremes would have taken me outside the so-called 40 meter ham radio band, let alone the novice band. I would have been outside the whole band. Even a 1% tolerance, 7185 kilohertz, so even 1% plus or minus would be plus or minus 71.85 kilohertz. That would have been completely unacceptable. So what is generally done? I mean, even 1 kilohertz off, was about, that was about the maximum that would be acceptable. 1 kilohertz off. Well, let's just, out of curiosity, divide 1 by 7,185 
and then multiply by a hundred to get the percentage. 0.01391% tolerance. We might generally uh, express that kind of a, of a tolerant, tolerance in something called parts per million. Parts per million. So 0.01391%. Let's divide that back by 100. How many parts per million? One, two, three, four, five, six. About 139 parts per million. That means uh, that's the tolerance that this thing would we would expect to have. It'd be about 139 parts per million. Well, you know, so a quartz crystal is an entirely different animal than a resistor or a capacitor, generally speaking in terms of the tolerance we should expect. As for the rest of these circuits uh, and components, transistors, diodes, uh, things like that, even inductors, rarely do you see a commercially manufactured inductor anymore. You might expect a tolerance in an inductor to be plus or minus 10 percent. Some components actually have tolerance values as high as plus or minus 20 percent. Usually what you can expect in a resistor or capacitor is plus or minus 20 percent unless there is a uh, unless there is a uh, band that indicates the tolerance for you in which case you might get plus or minus 10 percent or even plus or minus 5 percent. Anything tighter than plus or minus 5 percent would be a precision component. All of this and more is described and defined in my book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. And it also tells you the color codes on resistors that you can actually figure out what the tolerance is as well as what the value is. They use colored bands to do that. Well, that'll just about do it from here for this little presentation. But remember now, tolerance, the important thing to remember when you're talking about the tolerance of a component is that the quoted tolerance is a percentage of the rated value. That is what they're telling you or what they're printing on it or what the color bands will tell you. Stan Jabalisco signing off for now. Until next time, so long.